Joining us now, Senator Shelley Moore Capito from West Virginia. Senator, thank you so much for being here this morning. How you doing? Do doing great. Thanks for having me on. Great. Uh, so Texas, let's start there with Senator Cruz. Um, to what do you attribute the, the tightness of this race and what's the Republican strategy? You know, the Republican strategy is that Ted Cruz is a strong leader. He's a conservative leader and he represents Texas very well. I think that uh, honestly, at the end of the day, I think Ted Cruz wins with a comfortable margin because he has uh, proven himself to be a leader. I think, I honestly think these are all distractions to try to distract resources away from races like what we see here in Michigan and uh, all across the country for in uh, order for Republicans to take that majority, which is so very important. So I think Ted Cruz is uh, is working as hard. We're all helping him. But uh, I think in the end, he'll be successful as he always has been. Michigan, you bring that up. It is significant with Representative Mike Rogers, and he's really closed the gap in Michigan. Um, how significant is that? And, and what's happening in that race that's top of mind of all of the Senate races that you're watching? Well, I think Michigan, uh, particularly, I served with Mike Rogers for years in the in the House of Representatives. He's a proven leader, obviously, on the international uh, security uh, environment, but also uh, in terms of job creation. And I think the big issues here are the policies that uh, Mike's opponent has advocated for the Biden-Harris policies, which have put auto workers out of business, which have caused families to pay more uh, in the grocery store or at the pump. All of these really meat and potatoes issues that Mike understands, I think that's why Michigan is very much in play. And I think President Trump uh, will be back here, I'm sure, is exceedingly popular here. And so I think that Michigan uh, is going to surprise a lot of people. But Mike Rogers won't be surprising me. I know he's been a leader and he will continue to be. And he presents his uh, case to the uh, to the state of Michigan in a very effective way. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Everybody knows the answer to that question. No. And uh, his opponent, Slotkin, has been one of the biggest supporters of the Harris uh, agenda. Looking at some of the other battleground states, Arizona, Michigan, which we talked about, Texas, but also Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, where do you think is the greatest challenge for Republicans right now to make up more ground? Well, you know, I'm a senator from West Virginia, Pennsylvania, obviously just to the north of us, and and it is just an enormous state, and it has a variety of, uh, I think, um, political views as you go across the state. But David McCormick has done a superior job, I think, in presenting again, the economic case to Pennsylvanians and the energy case. Uh, uh, Vice President Harris's policies of uh, anti-fracking, and I can see the policies that they bring forward at the Senate in terms of uh, eliminating natural gas and coal from our energy mix, uh, that's very hurtful to the state of Pennsylvania. So I think this state, uh, Pennsylvania, is very much in play, and I expect it to be very tight all the way through. Same with Wisconsin. Um, these are hardworking people. They're, a lot of them, you know, they have Ron Johnson, who is a, a great senator, who does well and presents that that populist uh, opinion of stop overtaxing us, over-regulating us, and taking the hard-earned money that we have. So I think all of these states, I think Ohio looks very, very good uh, in terms of Bernie Marino. So I'm very optimistic about Republicans' chances of taking over, and our candidates are working hard. Uh, they can always use more funding, but they are staying even uh, in terms of spending. And I'm excited about that. Maryland is another possibility, I think, that has not been talked about. The Governor Hogan is extremely popular in the, his home state. If Republicans do take over the Senate, as you're predicting, what would be the first legislative priority, Senator? Well, I think the first priority uh, should be let's look at the regulatory environment and and take down some of these onerous, uh, in, in, you know, regulatory environments. You know, for instance, in the uh, EV space with cars, the these uh, regulations that basically are driving mandates to drive EVs, that's what's killing Michigan. Uh, and, and people are, are losing their jobs over it. So I think that's part of it. The other thing I think is to maintain the tax uh, policies that we put into place under President Trump very successful, caused growth, caused wages to go up, more people working, uh, and and the success of those policies are probably going to be number one for us. 
Senator Capito, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.